So let's roll out the red carpet, or shall we say khaki carpet? Because NBC's News national political Ooh, correspondent, he's taken a break from politics. Super Tuesday is over. He's here to talk Academy Awards on Sunday. Steve, good morning. Good morning, and uh, happy Oscar weekend, Thank I guess you. it is. Thank you. Okay, so you're going to help us break this all down. Some history could be made. What are you looking at? Yeah, a couple of uh, firsts or potential firsts, certainly looking ahead to Sunday night. And how about this here? You got Lily Gladstone, actress from Killer of the Flower, Killers of the Flower Moon. She is the first Native American woman ever nominated for Best Actress. Mm. Could become, with victory, the first Native American performer ever to win mm. in that category. So keep an eye on that. How about the director of that movie? Of course, Martin Scorsese. This is his 10th Best wow. Director nomination, wow. but the real record is he's 81 years years old, oldest ever nominated for Best Director, could become the oldest ever winner. But that is dwarfed by John Williams, 92 years young, nominated for the best score for the Indiana Jones movie. He was 91 when nominated. That would be a record in and of itself. Wow. Oh, that's incredible. We're used to hearing you break down election voting. How about Oscar voting? How does it work for Best Picture? Yeah, so uh, there is a little political parallel here. There are some <laughs> places in the country. I love these things. I love little uh, election uh, uh, trivia as much as anybody, but they do something called ranked choice voting. Oh. And the idea is when you got multiple, not just a battle between two, but a mul multiple candidates, multiple movies, you rank your choice. This is my first choice movie. This is my second choice, third choice, and so on. So they're doing that for Best Picture this year. So just as an example here, there's four movies. We'll call movie A, B, C, and D. And you see them right here. Now, let's pretend you're a voter and you picked A, movie A, as your choice for best picture, but they tabulated all the votes and movie A comes in last place the first time they tabulated. So what happens if you voted for movie A, they then look at your ballot again. Second choice, second choice, second choice, second choice gets added to the tally of the other ones. And until somebody gets to that 50% mark, they keep doing this. It's how they get consensus or the closest thing you can with this many movies nominated. Mm, Easy. Yeah. <laughs> that is so insanely watch. confusing. Um, okay, so now that we know how this I'm happens. Glad I clarified. Yeah. Now that we know how this happens, which movie do you think has the best chance of winning? This is interesting. Always look at the betting markets because people, you know, they bet <laughs> with their money, and then when your money's on the line, you take it seriously. So how are people betting on the best picture? And I think what you see here is how wide open this is, right? Yeah. There's no clear favorite here. Oppenheimer is the favorite, but Six to one odds right behind the Paul Giamatti movie, The Holdovers mm -hmm. there at seven to one, Poor Things, Anatomy of a Fall, Killers of the Flower Moon, all wow. single digits. But the longest shot on the board, Past Lives, only 14 to one. So honestly, this is the kind of year that says to me, wide open, That's anyone's exciting guess. That's watch. Just reminds me of how much I haven't seen this year. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that surprises me. Oppenheimer swept award season. Yeah. Right. So... We'll see what happens. Yeah, we will. And put your money on uh, any of them. You could make a dime off this. Okay, you have a trivia question for us. Yes, we do. So how about this? Let me call this up on the screen and see what you think of this one. So which of these holds the record for the most Oscar wins by a single film? Okay, because Oppenheimer could potentially break this record this year. Is it Ben-Hur? Is it Titanic? Hmm. Or is it the Lord of the Rings, the Return of the Ring? I, we need like a buzzer. I right. know. We'll go. I, Everyone I, gets a chance. Okay. I'm going to say C just because I feel like it might have won in a lot of different categories. Okay. I'm going to say B, Titanic. Oh, I I'm going to go with C as well. Okay, no one chooses Ben Hur, but the correct answer is. Oh, gosh. Trick question. You're all right. Oh. It's a tie between all of them We're for the all most wrong. all time. <laughs> and Oppenheimer with 13 nominations could yeah. break it, but that would take a big, big night for Oppenheimer. So let's uh see. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.